I bought this module with ESP8266 on board, not that I have any project requiring it, just for fun. Later I got an idea, let's build a Wi-Fi thermometer. Wowee, such an innovative product, isn't it? Well, let me specify a bit more. What about thermometer for chemists? That can trigger a pump or a valve. Without any wires. Reconfigure during process. Hmm... Okay, maybe a little bit better, but you just put a thermocouple in a glass tube and connect it to the board. Well, kinda. Also, that is not what I want to do now. Now I want to look at some software. Well, of course, there are a bazillion of projects like this, so you just pick one and use it, right? Right? Well, I'm sure that mine will be better. So, let's return to this ESP thing, and let me tell you, this thing is powerful. CPU can run at 160 MHz, and it has a bunch of peripherals such as SDIO, SPI, I2C, I2S, USB can be bit banked, and it can run multiple network services simultaneously. It has 4 freaking megabytes of flash memory. Unfortunately, ADC is not ultra fast and it's not multiplexed between multiple pins. So if you want to read two or more different analog sources, you have to add analog multiplexing chip or switch it somehow. I am programming this with Arduino interface and there are examples and libraries, so pieces of code can be glued together easily. And after some experimentation I have figured what's the best architecture for my application. I will use file system library so I can store files on the flash chip and access them easily in the code. On top of this I will be running simple web server which will send the files from this file system. The only hard-coded feature currently is that on the post request to the target upload it will get the data and store it on the flash memory. So we have simple way of updating and modifying the user interface without the need to reprogram the chip. Parallel to a web server, a WebSocket interface is responding to a low-level request and the request for sensor data. For example, file management UI is running completely on the client side. The only thing the server does is that it sends a folder content on a request or deletes a file. So when you connect to the sensor, my web interface looks like this. These glyphs are Unicode symbols because at the time I didn't know that getting file system running and managing is, is that easy. Graphing of data is done by Smoothie Charts library. Thanks to Mika for this discovery by the way. And here is a value returned by the sensor. It should be draggable and its position should be saved when you save the profile, but right now it isn't. Everything is running in single page, so you can gather sensor data in PC RAM and then export it or send back to the sensor to store them in flash memory. So here are some settings. You can basically add whatever here. Just you have to edit source and upload it back to server. Controls of this page may not be ideal, but this is just a concept. Also, some of them do not work at all. A file manager. So here you can upload some files. Right now this is done by HTML form, so it will refresh the page, but it can be done by Ajax. By clicking on the file, you will open it. And you can see here size of the files and perform an action, which should be delete or whatever. Right now there is only exec action on the files with .profile extension. The idea is that you may have several setups with different settings, so you can load this and reconfigure everything just with one click. Loading of these profiles is done with Ajax, so you can see the change immediately. You can also have multiple HTML files with different applications. This is all running on client side, so you can do whatever you want, basically. Ha, huh, this file is funny. Maybe it's a glitch or Unix-like file system attempt. I think that RazorFS did allow you to make files like this. And finally, by clicking here, you can save a profile. Just type in a name and bang, you have a profile. Now, just a sneak peek at the source. This is the whole HTML, not much here. I like go to be generated programmatically, so this is basically a backbone, icons and file upload form. Now, JavaScript section has this sensor controller object that does everything, which is not quite smart. 
well I will need to refactor this at some time. So here's some page button handlers, there's some data handling functions. This function creates a settings profile. Now it's very dumb and it processes just a list of elements, basically fetches values and creates a script. But it's possible to add ability to connect to other sensors for example. This is more or less how I like to make controls, more or less. Yeah, stuff. And here is the most of the painful work. Oof, I was trying to keep this file small, so I wanted to as little dependencies as possible, but fuck it, I will get this bootstrapped. So here's this module, and you can see that this module contains a ESP12 module, which contains ESP8266. Other than that, there are some regulators and USB to serial interface and USB connector. I'm interested only in this ESP12 module. As a prototype, I made this PCB that has trimmer and some op-amp there. And there's a thermocouple connected here. I want to combine this with some really, really tiny battery. So my idea is that you have some very compact module that you can just push on some thermometer glass tube and load the application and that's it. Yeah, so now I need to make some prototypes and send it to Nerd Rage or Nile Red.